Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. All right, we have one of the most exciting videos. Uh, we're gonna be reviewing Venom 15. With uh, We're starting to get into the dark web and we are definitely getting into some super, super cool reveals in this book. Now, uh, before we get dived into Venom 15, I do wanna let you guys know about the 600 subscriber giveaway. When we hit 600 subscribers, we'll be giving this book away. It's a Marvel number one variant. All you have to do is like the video, comment down below, and be subscribed to the channel. That'll give you a chance to win. All right, guys, let's get dived into Venom 15. Now, as usual, and I'm, I'm deathly serious this time, we're going to be going heavy into spoilers. I'm going to be showing a lot of these panels here. So if you don't want to be spoiled for Venom 15 before you read, that's your warning. All right, guys. Next up, I do want to shout out the creative team because without the creative team, we wouldn't have a comic book, right, guys? So on this issue, we have Ram V as the writer. Brian Hitch is doing pencils. The inks are done by Andrew Curry and Scott Hanna. Colors by Alex Sinclair. And uh, letters by Clayton Cowles. Um, now, <sighs> we start right in the thick of it, guys. And there are, they're going to blows. So Bedlam, who is, uh, it's basically like the leveled up version of, of uh, Eddie Brock here. And I do want to part back here and read this forward. Uh, it's a super important forward. So it says, after trying to expand his abilities, Eddie Brock's mind became dislodged from his body, and he awoke within a symbiotic form in the Garden of Time, a paradise at the end of time itself, inhabited by what's left of the galaxy's symbiotes and the kings in black, who reigned after Eddie, led by the enig enigmatic Meridius. But the garden is not what it seems. Desperate to return home to his son, Dylan, Eddie has struggled to re-enter the time stream, only to be held back by forces beyond his understanding. Now the Force stands revealed as Meridius himself. He is a future version of Eddie. All the kings in black are. Horrified, Eddie escaped the garden and wound up in limbo, where he met its ruler, Madeline Pryor, a.k.a. the Goblin Queen, and her ally, Ben Riley, a.k.a. Chasm, promised to help Eddie but not without a cost. Chasm removed the memories of Dylan, which regressed him back to the violent, brain-eating brute he once was. The trauma of the transformation and battles with Spider-Man and the X-Men ushered Eddie's metamorphosis into his next predestined form, the future King in Black, Bedlam. And as, as I said, they are going to blows. And the fight continues in this amazing two-page spread by Hitch, Curry, Sinclair, and uh, and so within this, um, Eddie says, "You are different. Not the venom I know. Something's changed. What have you done?" and Dylan says, it was you, father. Don't you remember? Pain. Said, you said pain would make me stronger. Then you stabbed me in the heart and left me to die. And in that moment, everything was changed. As we kind of go back to, uh, to him uh, meeting with Sleeper Agent, and it's revealed that Dylan's actually part human and part Clintar. As he says uh, here, he's like, I'm Eddie Brock's son, and I'm the child of Venom. It all makes more sense now. Why he didn't want me to bond with the symbiote. That explains why Alchemex and the Life Foundation are so interested. Every time I bond with a symbiote, my codex changes. Something fundamental within him. It triggers some kind of evolution. Makes them stronger. Makes them different. And more importantly... It severs their connection to the hive as we see and so he he ends up um, use it so he's got all black guys like he can manifest all black anytime he wants so he manifests all black 
and he stabs Sleeper Agent and severs Sleeper Agent's connection to the Hive, right? So that the Hive doesn't know what he's doing anymore. And he says, you know, we're going to need an army, and I know I can count on you. And I know exactly where I'm going next. And I'm done running, Sleeper. I'm going to find my dad, and I'm going to save him. And then we go back to the battle. And the battle is raging, and uh, he, uh, he cuts off Bedlam's hand. And he says, it will not grow back. Once all black has carved the flesh from your body, it is severed from the hive from your mind. Do you understand what that means? I am going to kill you, Dylan says. And Bedlam laughs. I will walk back into Meridius's garden and I will replenish my flesh from it once I have ended you and taken back my venom. I see now why Meridius yearns for this new form of venom. It is powerful. You are powerful, boy. If I did this to you, or if I am to do so, I was right. What did I say to you? Pain made you stronger? I'll remember that. But I am a king in black. I am a god. And you will never beat me on your own? As Dylan replies, who said anything about doing all this on my own? And we get our first... Uh, reveal of, of this new character and he says oh wow mr brock is that really you never thought i'd see you in red <laughs> i'm gonna show you the first panel we get of and like i said heavy heavy spoilers in this guys i'm gonna show i'm gonna show you who it is it still it shocked me i was floored honestly so then it goes alchemex earlier that night normie is uh walking around uh the you know, we're walking around Alchemex, and he receives a text from Dylan saying, Normie, meet me upstairs on the roof for old time's sake. And he does. He walks onto the roof, Dylan. Dylan says, you came. Normie says, Mom said I should alert her in security if you tried to reach out. Dylan says, and did you? Normie says, no. Dylan says, I need your help. It's my dad. He's not dead. He's alive. I've seen him. Trapped, worried, afraid, trying to get back to me. I knew then that he was just as lost as I was. I kept waiting for him to come back when I should have been reaching for him. Do you understand that, Normie? You, you do, don't you? I have to do this. I'm Venom, and I need your help to save any Eddie Brock as he turns into Venom. And uh, Normie says, me? Me? How? What am I supposed to help you with? As Venom reveals that he has Normie's symbiote. And he says with this, I know how things were for you before, but if there's anything I've learned about symbiotes, it's that they don't have to be the same again. I know what it's like being a host, and I know there's no coming back from it. I've got others helping me too. I didn't come here for another symbiote, Normie. I came here for a friend. As we see Normie, too. He misses his symbiote. He remembers his friend and reaches towards him. And uh, Dylan opens the vial and, and the two the two are merged again. And so it's, uh, <laughs> you know, heavy spoilers here for some future stuff, too. Uh, that's Red Goblin. Like, if you've seen the Red Goblin number one that's coming out, that's the same character. I was, I'm kind of floored by that. They're throwing him out and giving him a little title. That's cool. And check this out too. So as they kind of head off on the adventure together to go try to save Dylan's father, there's some more talking too. I can't, I don't want to read everything. We'll be here for, we'll be here all day. Um, but yeah, check that double page spread out of the new character and, and uh, Venom or, I don't want to spoil it until we get there <laughs> and then so is there's more spoilers coming guys and then so so uh they're they're coming up upon um upon the scene where they're where they're getting towards where uh, bedlam is to start the fight like it, it's kind of a little bit of a back and forth like here's the fight and here's kind of what was happening before the fight to lead everyone to getting to the fight if that makes sense and then so 
We see here too that Miss Marvel is kind of watching on the scene and sees these two uh, symbiotes come jumping through the city on on the on the skyscrapers, and she's like, "Oh, this is not good, not good at all. The whole city's going crazy. I can't find Peter or Spider-Man anywhere. And now Venom's out here scaling rooftops with another symbiote. That can only mean more trouble. And I guess I'm going back to Oscorp. We'll have to wait. You're making a habit of this, Kamala." So we see she's definitely following them. And she's going to arrive at some point in the fight, too. Um, so back to the fight. The three of them are brawling. Bedlam set is saying, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. Don't you see? I'm not a possibility. I am a consequence. You are only Venom. The kings in black are certainties. I exist. Therefore, I must win this battle. And the next. And the next. And the as we see him kind of pounding Venom into the ground. And as he's doing that, Venom reaches up with, or Dylan reaches up with all black and severs Bedlam's eye. And Bedlam screams and says, I, I see now, I see you. You are not Venom. You are not just Venom. Because as Dylan is getting up, biggest reveal I was, I was like, yeah, when, when this, when I saw it, <laughs> as Dylan's getting up, he's turning into Codex. Yep, Dylan is Codex. <laughs> and uh, so as he's getting, he's getting up, and uh, Bedlam continues, what is this feeling? I, I want to run away, but I'm thrilled by the idea of staying and fighting fear. Is this what fear feels like? As Codex says, you know nothing of it. I will show you the meaning of fear, Father. I will show you what you have made. Bedlam says, I see. Clever, clever, Meridius. I see why he wants you now. Chainbreaker. And Codex says, you tell him I will save my father, even if I have to kill him to do it. As we see Miss Marvel come in and go, it, <clears throat> excuse me, there will be no uh, killing of any kind because if there is, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> and uh, that's the last page there we get. And yeah, yeah, it, she comes in at, at, at a time where it's, the, you know, you want more reveals. You want more. You're like, give me more reveals. Keep going. And then she kind of jumps in and, and stops the... the <laughs> stops the, the the train but um you know for good reason because i don't i don't think we can have the epic showdown battle <laughs> at the end of uh the very issue that that all these other crazy spoilers are given in that's got to be the next issue um it, you know and as you can see obviously from from my enthusiasm and fun uh, you know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know, I don't always get this, uh, um, what would you call, I don't always get this big, <laughs> you know, I don't always, I am super excited about this one. This, this thing was like everything I've been waiting for from Venom. They, I, I kind of called it, I'd seen Dylan as Codex for a while. I was like, he's Codex. He turns into Codex at some point. I don't know how. I don't know how they're, we're going to get there, but I know he's Codex. And and so that reveal for it to finally happen, and I was like, I was right, I was right. He's Codex, he's Codex. Um, and then in, in addition to like some of the other things that they threw in there that I thought was really cool, uh, you know, they didn't even give him a name in this. I don't know if we're going to... Uh, I assume he's appeared before. I Forgive me, I did not read the stories about Normie getting a Carnage symbiote before. So I didn't I didn't know that that had, I guess, previously happened. Um, but yeah, we got that new symbiote. And that reveal that Normie is now uh, paired with his symbiote again. Which has a lot of implications for the current ongoing Gold Goblin title. Uh... I mean, is Normie going to try to keep this secret from his grandfather? Um, you know, if they're both superheroes, why can't they know? I don't know. There's a lot of questions that can be answered there. So not only does this answer a lot of questions, I've been waiting a long time 
to get answers for, but it opens up some new answers and some new cool possibilities and ways that they can go in the future. And I'm really excited about this issue. I absolutely loved it. Ram V nailed it out of the park. It's what I've been saying since the beginning, guys. Ram V has a, has a plan for this story, and I know it started off slow, but sometimes you've got to hit those emotional and character beats because if you don't, if you just rush to this right here on issue two or three, it's not earned, guys. It's not earned. This was earned. This... This arc has been great. I highly recommend the entire arc. I, I know a lot of people dropped off. And, and hey guys, th dude, this got awesome. If you want to just jump in right back here, cool. But hey, I'm, I'm recommending it. Big recommend this month. Venom 15, super good, super good issue. There's, there's so much going on. The art's always amazing. Hitch is killing it on this title. And, and it's just fun. <laughs> it's just it's just fun um you know guys we're gonna get the old eddie back eventually you don't have to be mad that it's not your eddie just kind of enjoy at least this is how i see it just enjoy this kind of kind of this new character enjoy dylan brock this new character embrace him because it's he's good it's a good it's a good character um, we kind of get a, almost a Spider-Man kind of a, a Venom character because he's younger, he's in high school, he, uh, you know, he's still trying to figure out who he is, and and now that we see he's possibly one of the most powerful symbiotes to, you know, he's not more powerful than his father, he's not more powerful than a king in black, but he's on this other separate power level where, you know, he, he can detach himself from the hive. And he's got all black, which is just about the only thing that can kill another symbiote. Um, so he's just he's just fun, man. I, I don't know. I'm going on. This is probably a long episode. I'm sorry, guys, if, if it was too long for you. But if you did stick around this long, you enjoy this kind of content, hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Helps the algorithm. As always, like I said, thumbs up on this one. Big thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time, and have a great day.